Understanding the brain is clearly a biological problem, but acquiring the map of the brain, it's fair to say that without Google research help, we would have failed. What makes us human? What makes us unique? A lot of it has to do with our brain. The brain is the most complex and amazing organ in the world. It regulates our body, emotions, and thoughts. It defines our personality and identity. But how well do we understand it? And how does it compare to other brains, like those of animals or artificial intelligence? In this video, I will reveal how Google DeepMind has created a virtual brain for a virtual rat that can act and behave just like a real one, and how this artificial brain is uncovering secrets about our own minds that will astonish you. Let's get started. Google DeepMind AI Brain Google DeepMind is a world leader in artificial intelligence and machine learning. They have created some of the most advanced AI systems in the world, such as AlphaGo, AlphaZero, and MuZero. These systems can learn to excel at complex games and tasks without any human guidance, outperforming human experts and even other AI systems. But Google DeepMind is not content with just creating superhuman AI. They also want to understand how natural intelligence works, especially the human brain. That's why they have teamed up with researchers from Harvard University to create an artificial brain for a virtual rat that can control its movements in an ultra-realistic physics simulation. This groundbreaking work, published in the journal Nature, opens up new possibilities for studying brain function and controlling complex behaviors. The artificial brain replicates the structure and function of a real rat's brain. In the simulation, the virtual rat can explore its environment, respond to stimuli, and perform tasks that require coordination and decision-making. This research has huge implications for both neuroscience and robotics. It can help us understand how the human brain works and how it differs from other brains. It can also help us create more advanced and adaptive robots that can learn from their experiences and adapt to new situations. Here's how it works. So how did Google DeepMind and Harvard create this amazing artificial brain? Well, it was not easy. It required a lot of data, a lot of computing power, and a lot of creativity. They began by creating an accurate biomechanical model of a rat's body using a sophisticated physics simulator called Mujoko. This virtual rat was designed to mimic the physical constraints and mechanics of a real rodent. It had to obey the basic laws of physics and mimic the musculoskeletal movements of an actual rat's body. To build this model, the researchers used an extensive data set of high-resolution motion data recorded from real rats. These recordings captured the rats performing a wide range of natural behaviors and movements. This data ensured that the virtual model could capture the complexity of a real rat's movements. Then, they created an artificial neural network that could control this virtual body's biomechanics and reproduce the movements observed in the data. This is where Google DeepMind's expertise in machine learning came in handy. They used advanced deep reinforcement learning techniques to train the artificial neural network, which would act as the virtual rat's brain. To control the virtual rat's movements, the researchers used a method called inverse dynamics modeling. This method computes the necessary forces and torques needed at various joints to produce a desired motion. It's like figuring out what muscle actions are needed to move your arm to a specific position. In the context of the virtual rat, Inverse dynamics modeling helped the artificial neural network learn how to produce precise movements by understanding the mechanics of the rat's body. The neural network had to figure out which muscle contractions and joint movements would result in the rat walking, running, or performing other tasks. The researchers provided the virtual rat's neural network with reference motion trajectories derived from the real rat data. These trajectories served as inputs, providing a detailed map of the desired movements the virtual rat needed to reproduce. The neural network had to learn how to convert these motion paths into coordinated muscle actions and joint movements. The research discovery. The neural network did a great job. It learned to control the virtual rat's movements with remarkable accuracy and realism. But that's not all. The neural network also showed some surprising abilities that were not explicitly taught to it. The neural network could apply what it learned to new situations. The virtual rat could move and behave in realistic ways it wasn't specifically trained for. Just like a real brain, the neural network could adapt its knowledge to different tasks and situations. This ability to generalize is similar to how a real rat or even a human learns. Once basic movement patterns and behaviors are learned, these can be adapted and applied to novel tasks. The neural network 
could use what it learned from specific training data and apply it to new, untrained situations. With this virtual rat brain successfully controlling the biomechanical model, researchers could go deeper into the workings of the neural network. They could gain valuable insights into how real rat brains might control movement. This step is crucial for understanding the neural mechanisms underlying motor control and behavior. The researchers found that the virtual brain's neural activity patterns were very similar to those recorded from real rats' brains while they were moving. This similarity suggests that the AI had learned ways to control movement just like real brains do. The AI not only learned to move the virtual rat, but also developed brain activity patterns similar to those of actual rats. A key feature of the virtual brain was its ability to switch between different modes based on the situation. This behavior is very similar to how a real rat's brain changes its activity patterns for different actions. The virtual rat's brain showed this ability, adjusting its neural activity patterns to fit the specific tasks it was doing. This ability to switch between different modes is essential for how natural brains work. It helps animals quickly adapt to changing situations and perform various tasks well. The virtual rat's brain showed this flexibility, meaning the deep learning algorithm learned some key principles of how real brains control movement. These transitions in the virtual brain came from the learning process. The neural network understood different situations and behaviors on its own, managing the transitions smoothly. The virtual brain moved seamlessly from one activity to another, adjusting its neural patterns in ways similar to live animals. The success of the virtual brain in replicating these complex neural dynamics opens up exciting possibilities for future research. It provides a powerful tool for exploring how brains generate and control diverse behaviors. By studying the virtual brain, scientists can gain insights into the underlying mechanisms of brain function. Another important discovery came from studying how random changes in the virtual brain's activity affected the rat's movements. Clear patterns showed how these neural fluctuations led to specific movement changes. This revealed how the brain codes information. Because the virtual system was fully observable and controllable, researchers were able to gain these insights. The future direction. There is still a lot to learn in this area, but the virtual rat brain has created a new way to study motor control and brain function that wasn't possible before. Instead of just recording neural signals during behavior, neuroscientists can now explore and manipulate a complete model of the brain, body, and environment in a simulation. This marks a new era, which some are calling virtual neuroscience. Virtual neuroscience allows researchers to study brain function in ways that were previously impossible. Traditional methods of studying the brain often involve invasive techniques and are limited by ethical concerns. However, with a virtual brain, scientists can explore neural processes in a highly controlled and detailed manner, free from these limitations. This approach enables testing and refining theories about how neural circuits implement specific computational processes. For example, researchers can investigate how the brain estimates the state of the body and environment, predicts future states, optimizes costs and rewards, and coordinates patterns of movement. These are fundamental questions in neuroscience, and the virtual rat brain offers a powerful tool for addressing them. The virtual rat brain is not only a tool for neuroscience, but also a milestone for artificial intelligence. It shows how AI can learn to control complex and realistic systems, and how it can discover and replicate the principles of natural intelligence. The virtual rat brain is a remarkable achievement of AI, and a testament to the power of collaboration between different disciplines. Google DeepMind's AI brain is a stunning example of how AI can simulate and understand the human brain. It is also a glimpse into the future of neuroscience and artificial intelligence where virtual models and simulations will play a vital role in advancing both fields. The virtual rat brain is just the beginning of this exciting journey, and I can't wait to see what comes next. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.